Well, today our Consumer Reporter takes a look at the 995 carpet cleaning special uh, with Randy Ripplinger on the story. We're never quite sure who's really getting cleaned sure. here. Getting <laughs> a little steamed, perhaps, in this case. Apparently, there are several consumers who did get hot under the collar after they enlisted the help of some very inexpensive carpet cleaners. You've seen them, too. Any size room, 995, two room minimum, of course, but still sounds like a good deal. Better yet, at 695 a room or even 390. The big boys in carpet cleaning take a skeptical view of such ads. Well, it tells me that it's impossible. Uh, the average uh, uh, operator of uh, carpet cleaning equipment makes two or three times that per hour. So how is a carpet cleaner charging even $9.95 per room going to make a living? Watch closely and you'll find out. Quality carpet cleaners came to this residence this morning to do two rooms at $9.95 each. They brought a two-man crew. Once inside, the apparent foreman of the crew said the inexpensive steam cleaning will not do a complete job. It penetrates the surface, he said. It doesn't actually get down into the ground in fiber. He pushed the customer to buy a shampoo job, raising the total price to $66.90. She declined, so they began the basic $9.95 steam cleaning job. But the foreman persisted. He dropped the shampoo job to $50, saying that will keep me busy while he, his partner, does this. During the half hour that it took the workman to steam clean two rooms, the foreman pressed the shampoo job six times, finally declaring, you don't understand, it's not going to appear or cause the condition of the carpet like the shampoo is. Finally, the carpet cleaners discarded the idea of selling the shampoo job here, and they finished their job. The Better Business Bureau terms the inexpensive carpet cleaning ads as bait advertising. The president of the Rug Cleaners Trade Association says even if you buy the bait, you get what you pay for. It's obvious that he couldn't uh, remove the soil that quickly. It takes time and a lot of vacuum in order to uh, remove soil from a carpet. And Dow says the shampoo is more of a cosmetic. It makes the carpet look good on the top, but doesn't get the dirt out down under. Most rug cleaners will do four basic services to your carpet. They do a pile lift. That opens the carpeting up for cleaning. Pre-spotting gets some stains out that the steam won't. They should pay special attention, too, to carpet edges that accumulate a lot of dirt. The actual steam cleaning should be done with sophisticated equipment that can vary the temperature and amount of water. That avoids damaging some types of carpeting. Of course, all that does cost more than the 995 special. Two rooms, a hallway, and stairs, including an extra Scotchgard treatment here, ran $111. The point is, in the second job, the customer is the one who selected the services. But even the industry officials admit there is a place for the small carpet cleaning operations. Just be aware that you aren't getting a top-notch job for $9.95 or less. Incidentally, we did contact Quality Carpet Cleaners, the first company. Their attorney spoke to us and said, too, that the people should know that the $9.95 job just gives your rug a quick once-over, in his words. He said it is not the practice of his company, however, to bait customers with cheap prices, just to switch them over to more expensive services, however.